What's up, party people? It is Brian here with Unrivaled Multimedia. The Red River Shootout definitely lived up to its name this year as Oklahoma hanged on to beat Texas 45-40. Charlie Strong took over the defense this week, demoting the defensive coordinator, and that resulted in giving up 672 yards of offense from Oklahoma and 31 points in the second half by Oklahoma. So I definitely think Charlie Strong did not really affect the defense in a positive way. As Baker Mayfield had three touchdown passes to D.D. Westbrook. One for 71 yards, one for 42 yards, and one for 47 yards. Yep, you could say that Texas's secondary is an absolute dumpster fire. Baker Mayfield had all day to throw the ball, and they had no clue how to stop him. Threw for over 300 yards, and also Samaji Pirine was an absolute nightmare and terror to tackle for Texas defense. He went for over 200 yards and had a touchdown, and he just wore down Texas. I don't understand how Oklahoma did not give him the ball even more in this game because he could not be stopped. But Oklahoma also in this game gave up over 400 yards of offense to the Longhorns as Bouchelle, the quarterback for Texas, had over 300 yards passing, a touchdown pass. And also the running back Foreman for the Longhorns was very good with over 150 yards rushing and a touchdown. The Longhorns tried to stay in this game in the first half. They were right there at 14-13. Actually took the lead in the third quarter. But like I said, their defense was absolute trash and just got run over. And they actually almost had a chance to win this game as Baker Mayfield, as we know, is prone to turn the ball. He had three interceptions in this game. Fumbled the ball on a crucial third down instead of giving it to Samaji Piran. But luckily for Oklahoma's sake, they recovered the ball because I can only imagine what the Sooner Nation would be saying if Baker Mayfield had got, gave up that ball and then Texas won at the end 46-45. to Wow, that would have been it. But overall, you've got to be very excited if you're a Sooners fan about the offense, but very worried about the defense as once again, they are seen lackluster and almost gave up another big lead, just like last week against TCU. On the other hand, Charlie Strong, he gave a valiant effort as far as staying close to Oklahoma. I think that he should not be fired. What are they going to do? Just run another coach out and then get somebody else up in there and give him a few years? It takes time. The cupboard was bare at Texas when he got there. And I think if you give him another year, those guys are going to grow up and be better. The offense looked very good. Bouchelle seems to be a very good young quarterback. And also Foreman was very good running the ball. So you have got to be impressed at how competitive Texas was this game. Because honestly, did you think Texas was going to be Oklahoma? No, you did not. So overall, like I said, kudos to Texas. And I want to hear from the OU fans. Were you disappointed with the performance by the Sooners and almost losing this game and only winning by five points after leading 45 to 34 late in this game? So with that being said, I look for all your comments on this game. And also, please do give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and please do subscribe to Unrivaled Multimedia. And until next time, take it easy.